I got a scripture for you right here. We're just gonna go. Wisdom of Solomon. Uh, I don't even know where this one is. Oh, here we go. I'll start right here. Hey, read this. Read Wisdom of Solomon 3. You sound better reading. You got that good reading. You sound too. You got that good reading, boy. I hate hearing my voice. Third chapter starts at the top. Okay. It's wisdom of Solomon 3 at the top. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High, and there shall no, and there shall no torment touch them. So, yeah, because we've been talking about World War III, but World War III is about to start. So we got uh, the Ru Russia sending uh, troops over to Syria, China sending troops to Syria, and Iran sending troops to Syria. So World War III is about to break out. But we're going to be all right. Soon missiles going to start raining out of the sky. It's gonna be a nuclear missile flying. Great Britain also. Oh yeah, don't forget about well, you know Britain controls the world, so well yeah. That all the money's over there in Britain with them dead with the Rothschilds. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die, and their departure is taken for misery, and they're going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. Oh yeah, like, that goes around like a lot of the early apostles. Back in the early days, they were crucified. Like, uh, like Peter was crucified when the Lord was crucified. And then, uh, you know what I'm saying, Nero killed Paul. So a lot of people died for preaching this truth. Okay, Lord. And having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. So we're gonna get a great reward. them and found them worthy for himself as gold in the furnace hath he tried them and received them as a burnt offering yeah so yeah we're like golden riches you know what I mean and in the time of their visitation they shall shine and yeah. run oh we're gonna shine <laughs> but, but we ain't gonna do it all by ourselves it ain't through our power it ain't like we are special people but we gotta be humble, so we gonna shine because of the Lord made it shine. That's right. And in their time of their visitation, they shall shine and run to and fro like a sparks among the stubble. Yeah, that sounds like some superhero shit right there. Row to and fro like sparks. Yeah, that's like, some bad shit. Pew, pew, pew. Right, right. Among the stubble. You know, among stubble is used to yeah. keep that fire going or to start that fire. Either they, way you wanna look at it. Yeah, because if you look at the scripture, that's what uh, Joshua was doing and King David. And for, for Joshua and King David to do what they did on the battlefield, they had to have superpowers. Yeah, you can get that Obadiah in that Obadiah for this. Oh, uh, Obadiah? Yeah. Get that. Which one? Which one you want? Obadiah. At the end when it's all about stubble. Oh know. yeah, oh yeah, of course. You know Obadiah 18, baby. That's my favorite scripture. Go ahead. Okay. Um, they shall judge the nations and have you know, that's funny. No, they, uh, you can't judge us. You can't oh, yeah. judge us, you hear yeah. that a lot. They said we're going to judge all the nations. They shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people and their Lord shall reign forever. Yeah, so the scripture said we're going to judge the nations. 
That's a lot of people. So what the hell is an adulterous woman to us? If we if we're gonna judge nations, what the hell is an adulterous woman to us? Right, right. You know, we're gonna curse her out. She ain't shit to us. That's right. We're gonna judge nations. When we judge her, she can get her hand chopped off. Yeah. There. You know? Go on. Righteous judgment. That's called righteous yeah, judgment. Yeah, that's righteous judgment. Okay. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. Oh, understand the truth. What's the truth? Look, even uh, the university has a scripture on the building. It says, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. You sure do. Can that camera hit that though? Yeah, we hit it before. We hit it before, okay. And yeah, we, we, we put it on one of the previous videos. It's got a scripture from the book of John telling you that Yahweh Shah, the son of God, is the truth. That's right. E even uh, the university knows that. Yeah, but they're hypocrites, though. <laughs> well, see, they, see what it is, they're a bunch of damn devil worshipers. So what they do is they tell you what the truth is, and they'll put it right in front of your eyes, but then they'll tell you something else. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. that's part of their witchcraft and sorcery, being a bunch of devils. That's right. Because if they think about putting scriptures on the building, it make it, like they're in the clear now. And now they can go about their wickedness. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Keep going. And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to his saints. And he Yeah, has... we're the saints in the most high. See, every time someone sees that word saint, they think it's talking about uh, like uh, Saint Nicholas or uh, Saint Patrick or... Or their old fat granny. Yeah, oh yeah. But you know how the Catholic Church be. They like Saint Francis and Saint Malachi and Saint this and Saint that. Yeah, but they say only a handful of people can be the saints. Now the people that do the work of the Lord, that's the saints. Keep going. That's only a few. Oh yes, yeah, only a few. Yeah. Sorry, I guess you're right in the way, it's only a few. Out of seven billion people. <laughs> yeah, because most people don't have to fear the Lord. Is. And he has care for his elect. Oh yeah, hey, we just say that. We the elect. That's the saints, that's the elect. And the elect, you can read in the book of Ephesians, it said we was chosen, chosen before the foundation of the earth. Mm. Mm. You have in Jeremiah too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Jeremiah had it the whole. It in one of the Timothys also. Yeah, the book of Jeremiah tells you the spirit was on Jeremiah in his mother's womb. Mm. Before before he even did any actions on the earth, the spirit was already with him. So every, so everything's predestined. Keep going. Right. Okay, but the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imagination. Oh, we gotta get that. Let me get this damn truck out of here. That's a real good. Read it again for these heathens right here. But the ungodly. Are y'all? Un are you ungodly people? Yeah. Are you an ungodly person? But the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imagination. Just like that, she got that temple. Oh yeah. She just got shot up. That was that was a good thing to have. You know that this way. Yeah, that, that sheep temple that got shot up, even though that was set up by the government, obviously, just like that that movie theater shooting, the Batman shooting, that was set up by the government. In the Batman shooting, everybody said they seen more than one shooter, but on the news they say it was just one guy. The you same. Oh, um, they're walking to the movie theater the other day. Ah. He's probably set up too. He's got a lot of shit set up. I mean, they said at the Sikh right. temple there was more than one shooter too. But the news is saying there's only one. Right, right. That was set up by the government, but that's good for them Sikhs though. They ain't got the truth, so they got put to death. That's a beautiful song. If you want to think about it. <laughs> well, hopefully some bitches got stabbed with a broken bottle or something. That's right. Where are the rules in America? What did they call that? They call that a nigger knife. <laughs> you never seen that? You break a bottle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can stab my one. Did you? Yeah. You know the white Jesus they trying to say is Caesarea, the Borgia? Borgia, Borgia. However you say it's a weird name. Jezreel. Jezreel Borgia. Jezreel, Jezreel. All kind of names to say it. You can say it all kind of ways. Yeah, do you know the letter G actually comes from the letter C? Oh, yeah. It actually comes from the letter K. <laughs>
Right, going in insurance company trying to collect too, her dumb ass. Man, they keep knocking on my door like 12 at night, like, you gotta move this street for me. <laughs> You. I couldn't miss it. They had a call crew. Yeah, actually, she no, it wasn't a little piece. It was a whole giant branch came off. Oh, I was saying she, she thought she had just scared to die. You know that? You don't. The whole neighborhood begins. What's going on? You don't believe Jesus is a black? Uh, you think he was a white man? What it means is to call out. It's a Greek word. It means to call out. Uh -huh. So the only way you can call out is by being out here. Uh -huh. Because the early Christians, when they was Israelites, they were all Israelites. Uh -huh. They they taught on the streets. And you can read the scriptures. Paul was always in the marketplace and debating his cause with, his, with all the people out there. Yeah. You know, he, he almost called God. Uh -huh. they, go, they went to the temple of, uh, he went to the temple of Diana in Ephesus and was cursing people out. Cursing them out. You know, now, here's how it is. at the gates, at the entry of the city, at the coming in at the doors, you know. Well, no, no, my thing is, though, is 
Okay, y'all out here, y'all giving the truth. What? What are y'all doing? What, what is different from this truth and all the other ones out there? I mean, get your point. I mean, well, well, hold on. I got, I got a great point right here. Okay. Yeah, there is nobody else. Jesus you black. said Jesus is black well, man. Hold on, hold on, no, no, no. Okay. You said what's the difference between us and everybody else? Yeah. Well, we teaching the truth, but well, we the only ones out here teaching the truth. Ain't nobody else even out here at all. Nowhere in Columbus. So, I so, don't know what's going on in the rest of the city. I do know what's no, going no, on right here because I'm have here. Have you seen anybody else on the streets teaching? Yeah. As a, as a Bible command. And if you did see him, what was they talking about? Talking about love, you know, she's going to be brother. That's not know, the scripture. That's that's not scripture. That, that means they don't even know any scripture. I don't know. Cause, cause look, I'll be quite honest. But look, know, look, my memory's not even that good because we don't just want to defeat say that nobody else is out here, you know, teaching the Bible. All right, well, this is the truth. The, the truth is your house shot. That's uh -huh. your house shot. That's uh -huh. the truth. Okay, that's the truth. That's what separates us from everyone else. Your Howard shot? Your Howard shot. That's, that's ancient Hebrew for Jesus. That's how you say Jesus' name in ancient Hebrew. That's his real name. That, that's the name that you gotta confess to get saved. And he ain't, he ain't hearing no Jesus. When you speak that Jesus name, the Lord ain't dealing with you. He don't hear you. That's not his name. You see what I'm saying? That's why the Lord sent you out here to get his name and you just got it. There's John 10 and 27. My sheep hear my voice. So you guys just like all kind of like just got together somewhere on the streets walking around or you guys meet somewhere. It's like is there a church? Uh, this is the church right here. This is the church. Right here. Church. Right here. Church. Uh, do you guys have a building? I should put like, do you have a building? Let's get him the scripture, bro. Try to make some we got, we got scriptures. Let's cover one scripture. We all here to do. We all here to get the elect. Are these people right here. Get one yeah, well, see, I mean, my thing one. is though, it's like this I, is who I, we I here like to know more up. about what you guys are doing. First, you gotta get the building. First, you gotta get the name. Yeah. The, the, the name comes first. Because if you don't know the name of the Lord, uh -huh. just give up. Just, just, just don't even bother. Here you go. Acts, what, Acts seven and forty-eight. Uh -huh. How be it? The Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as says the prophet. The Lord ain't it just look, the Lord ain't in none of these churches. That's a temple, correct? Yeah. Yeah. How do they build a temple? With, with hands, right? Oh, yeah. Take the scaffold, you know, they scrub off of shit, you know, it's like a... Uh, hey, read more. There's more to that. Read more. I'm going to start at the top again. How be it the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as says the prophet. Heaven is my throne. So the, so, so the Lord throne is heaven. That's the space, outer space, the whole universe. That the whole universe is the Lord's throne. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Earth is my footstool. Earth is his footstool. It's where he presses his feet on the earth. Mm -hmm. They shit to him. Keep going. What house will ye build me? So, He's asking questions. So how you gonna build a Lord a house a house on the earth if the earth is his, is his footstool? That doesn't make any sense. Right. I don't know. I mean I just I don't get what you guys are doing out here though. I mean it's like let me go back to it again. Oh, go ahead. Hold on, brother. So just you guys out there giving people the truth. See, I just told you just pay attention. Because you ask, but you ask us a question, we yeah. answer it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As you, what you, you doing out here? You, no, no. You said, "Where's our building?" Oh yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Lord said he ain't got no building. Listen, uh -huh. brother. Listen carefully. Uh -huh. This is Proverbs one and twenty. Wisdom crieth without; she uttereth her voice in the streets. Uh -huh. She crieth in the chief places of concourse. In the opening of the gates in the city, she uttered her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? I, I, I must say, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like I'm going to give y'all away from this. No, 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 no. The, the, the Lord's word does never go out void. You know? Never. You know, so if this is going to affect you, whether you walk away now or later. It's going to affect you in a, either a, a I feel like y'all are wasting too much time on me, though. And you yeah, know, but we ain't wasting people. no time with nobody, man. This ain't wasting our time. This is getting the blood off of, this is getting blood off of our hands, you know, uh -huh. to bring you up, up out of that Gentile state of mind uh -huh. and start following the truth, okay? So we're, we're, all we're doing is washing our hands of the blood. And like he said, we got to teach the truth. We have to teach this. What did Paul say, woe unto me if I teach not the truth? Oh my God, are you a man? If we stop, man. Well, let me ask you a question. Do you want to be saved? Well, I like to think I am, you know. No, you're not. Yeah. You're still here. You're not saved. Like, when I'm drowning in the river, uh -huh. say I'm drowning in the river, then a helicopter comes, 
sends me down a ladder mm -hmm. and flies me away to safety, mm -hmm. that's getting saved. Mm -hmm. We're still living in hell. We're not saved yet, mm -hmm. okay? You're not saved until the Lord comes to save you like he said he's going to do. Mm -hmm. That's okay. right. Now, Val, I got a scripture for you. I don't know Not, when it's coming back, though. You know, it, 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 it's been around that long. The, scrip the scriptures say, no, I got it. you got it. How <laughs> would you got it? Uh, Jeremiah 8 and 20. Go ahead. Jeremiah 8 and 20. The harvest is past. The summer is ended. And we are not saved. Well, we are not saved yet. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. there's, a, there's a destruction coming it's that you're going to be saved from. You know, and, and then when we do get saved, few shall be saved. Right. I got a scripture to show you how to get saved. There you go. Hey, give, give me that. Right, he already got it. Already got it. Romans. Yeah, read that loud. Please. Romans ten and nine. Now, now listen up, good. Read that. Thou shalt confess with thy mouth, thou Lord, Yahweh Shah, and shalt believe in thy heart that God has risen him from the dead. Thou shalt that? be saved. Do you believe he was risen from the dead? Yeah. You believe that? Then what did it say? If you confess with your mouth, uh -huh. let me ask you a question. It's just what's on that phone is more important than getting saved right now, right? Uh, I'm actually yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so how, how do you confess with your mouth? Open it in. But, but how do you do that? Where do you do that at? Where do you do that at? How do you confess with your mouth? You have to be on the streets. There's no other way. You have to be on the streets. There's no I mean, coming you, in from the back door, stick from the back window. You know? Because if you had your own church building, just confessing the name of the Lord to a bunch of the people you already know. Uh, you know you're supposed to go meet with people. Confess the name of the Lord to them. Now, what's the name of the Lord? Yahweh Shah, man. Go ahead. Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah. Yeah, that's the name you're supposed to confess. But read that again, bro. So he wasn't paying attention to the Well, no, actually, I, I, got, I do have to go, though. I do appreciate what you fellas are doing. All right, man. Y'all be blessed. Okay, man. Have a good day. Good luck with you. Thank you, This is about the media. He said he was a jackass. He did say that, didn't he? He confessed the truth. Well, I got a scripture for him anyway. Philippians 3 and 17. Brethren, be followers together of me, and mark them which walk so as ye have us for an example. Loud ass shit. For many walk of whom I have told you often, and now tell you now, weeping that they are the enemies of the cross of Christ. Yeah, that dude was the enemy of the cross. Right. See, so that's why when he shook my hand, he tried to shake I, I, yeah, he, I, I just know because he's the enemy. The scriptures say, don't let him in your house. No, don't. So, now, if someone was being cool, was actually trying to listen and they was trying to get it, you know, I'd be cool with him. I, I'd shake their hand. And, he's too busy texting and shit. Yeah, because he, he, yeah, because, he pretty much thought we was a joke, you know what I mean? Right, right. So I treat him like he's the joke. The wisdom kept smacking his ass on top of his head. Cause I don't, I'm not usually a dick like that. If somebody tries to give me a five or whatever, I usually give him a five, dap it up, whatever. Mm -hmm. But not that fucking asshole. Right, right. He did the right thing. He did the right thing. He's an asshole. Right. Whose end is destruction? <laughs> whose God is their belly, and whose glory is in their shame? Who mind, who mind earthly things? For our conversation. Yeah, earthly thing. This dude kept talking about where's your building? Where's your building? Earthly thing. Bro. Always. They just so damn simple, man. Yeah. You actually think the most high needs a building? Mm. You know how fucking stupid that sounds? Mm. Mm. That's right. For our conversation is in heaven. From which also. Uh, that goes by what I just said. That's right. Our conversation is in heaven. Not the earth, not in the world, not in bricks and stones. <laughs> Also, we oh, that's another to... point. Everybody get bugged out on the pyramids. All oh, the pyramids are so great. They got magical powers. The pyramids changing the spaceship. That's just a bunch of damn bricks, man. Uh, all I think the pyramids is, is a giant mountain of rocks. <laughs> and the Muslims said they're going to blow the pyramids up. Hey, I hope they do blow the pyramids up. That'd be fucking awesome. Yeah, all that shit. Blow all that shit up. Right. For the, for Islam could do a, a something good for a change. You know what I mean? Right. For our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for our Savior, the Lord Yahweh Shai. I'm gonna end it on that one. Yeah, because they try to say, uh, oh yeah, <laughs> the spirit of Raw is in the pyramids. <laughs> 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 Psalms 145, verse 17. 
The Lord is righteous in all his ways and holy in all his works. Hey, Lord, people don't like hearing that, man. They don't like to hear that. Keep going. The Lord is not to all to them that call upon him. To all that call upon him in truth. You got calling the Lord in truth. You know what I mean? Like that uh that heathen we was talking because he didn't want to hear nothing about the truth. He had a problem with it. Keep going. He will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. And so, so what's our desire? Our desire is that the Lord run Well, our main desire is that the Lord run this shit, but he already run this shit. But the, our desire is that the kingdom of heaven comes as soon as possible. That's our desire. Can't come soon enough. But we ain't caring about it like our personal riches. We want to see everybody rich. You know what I mean? Well, all the Israelites in the world. see these heathens. No, don't get it twisted. People don't say, see, they said everybody. Now, we ain't talking about everybody. Go ahead. He also will hear the cry and save them. Oh, so the Lord going to save us. He didn't say we already saved. He said when he going to hear our cries, then he going to save us. Hey, because even like during your life, the Lord has saved you in your life. You know what I mean? He'll save you from getting hit by a bullet. Somebody can shoot bullets at you. And somebody can be shooting at you. If you a man of the Lord, if you like praying to the Lord, then all every bullet's gonna miss you. You won't even get hit. You know what I mean? Keep going. But the angels are coming to play those bullets. You can be getting chased from the cops or some shit, man. They, the cops just pass your ass by. That goes like both ways. The angels can deflect bullets. They can also guide bullets right. and make that bullet hit your ass. Yeah. Uh, the Lord preserves all them that love Him. So we love the Lord. So you What's know. Love? You know, so, you know, hopefully the Lord going, you know, he's going to, he's going to save us. Keep going. But all the wicked will he destroy. So the wicked's going to be destroyed. That's clear as day. I mean, that's, that's fucking plain English, man. The wicked's going to be destroyed. Keep going. My mouth shall speak the praises of the Lord and let all flesh bless his holy name. Oh, bless his holy name. What's the Lord's holy name? Yahweh, Yahweh, why Yahweh shot? That's why I was trying to tell that jackass that came up here. So I tell him, because when I tell people, like, the first thing you really need to learn is the name of the Lord. And that's the first thing you need to know, man. I put that titty in his mouth to suck on that milk, man. If you can't get the name, you can't get shit. You ain't gonna get shit. Right. If you're not teaching the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, you're not making it. Man, that's the biggest, prettiest titty you ever seen to suck on, man. Like I seen this. <laughs> you know That's why. I got I got a beef with this dude, man. Yeah. No, not them. I don't know them. <laughs> Y'all know what the name of the Lord is? Y'all know the Lord's name? What's the Lord's name? Oh yeah, of course you're not. She, she, she's not interested. That means she's not gonna be saved. It's okay by me. That, that doesn't hurt me none. Yeah, she's badass. Yeah, she probably is like with her ass like that too. You know what I mean? That dude, she was a goddamn Edomite. That's a fat ass right there, son. That's all you should get is a fat ass. I got scripture. Go ahead. 2 Timothy 2 and 19. Nevertheless, the foundation of the Most High standeth sure, having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his, and let everyone that nameth the name of Oh, Christ, depart from iniquity. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, you know, I, I, start, I start saying Christ less and less. Yeah, me too. When, I, when there's a lot of people out here, I, I, I'll say it, they'll get confused. Right. You know what I mean? But let me see you say If I feel like I'm talking to some noobs, some newbies, I'll use it so they know what I'm talking about. But then I'll start throwing your house shy at them. You gotta throw you that name, your house shy at I mean, you might feel like you're being repetitive. You keep saying, well, Christ's real name is your Howard You might get sick of saying it, but you can't get sick of saying it. You gotta say it over and over. I know what the Lord's name is. Yeah, y'all know what the Lord's name is? Oh, we don't, son. They don't know, so they ain't getting saved. The Bible said, you get whoever calls on the name gonna be saved. <laughs> it didn't say, I don't know who's gonna be saved. <laughs> Here you go, Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous running into it. Oh, the righteous running into it. And I got a, I was watching a video because 
there's a lot of people teaching the Bible on YouTube. A lot of people got a lot of followers. And there's a lot of people not teaching the name of the Lord. Like that, you've seen that dude, Pastor Dow. Yeah. Pastor Dow's got a lot of followers. He thinks he's real smooth with his shit, right? I think he like, we are. He think he a Ron Paul Israelite or something, you know what I'm saying? But he, he always using that name Yahweh and Yeshua. Well, guess what? Pastor Dow, you ain't getting saved. And your congregation ain't getting saved. Because you ain't teaching the Lord's name. I don't give a fuck what you teaching. Because if you not teaching Yahweh Shai, everything else you said doesn't mean shit. It don't mean nothing. It's, it's spit. It's fucking spit. Read that again, bro. Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. So the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The name of the Lord is Yahweh Shai. The Lord's name ain't Jesus. It ain't Yahshua. It ain't Isa. It ain't Yeshua. Lord's name is Yahweh Shai. It ain't Muhammad. Yeah, it sure in the hell ain't Muhammad. Or <laughs> Muhammad. Muhammad is a false prophet. And all, they, all you Muslims are going straight into slavery. All Muslims are going into slavery right. under the nation of Israel, and you all gonna be destroyed. The Temple on the Mount's gonna be destroyed. The Kaaba's gonna be destroyed. The Kaaba stone gonna be destroyed. Mecca's is gonna be destroyed. And all your babies gonna be bashed to pieces. <laughs> the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and is safe. So we're gonna be safe. <laughs> So we're not afraid of them goddamn savage-ass Muslims. They want to chop your head off if you blaspheme Muhammad. But fuck Muhammad. Right. Muhammad was a faggot and an illiterate fucking retard. <laughs> that's that's what Islam's based on illiteracy. Do you know? Do you know that during the Dark Ages, the the, 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 the Muslims said mathematics are of the devil, so we can't use math. That's how fucking stupid Muslims are. They did say that too. They, they said mathematics are the devil. That for that shit. That's how fucking stupid a goddamn Muslim is. Psalms 55 and 10. Day and night they go about and upon the walls of Jerusalem. Mischief. Also a song are in the midst of it. Wickedness in the midst of deceit and gals depart not from our streets. Yeah, oh yeah, there's nothing but deceit out here. Because maybe we live out in America, we actually had Muslims walk by it. We're wearing a goddamn Jedi outfit. Look like she about to pull a lightsaber. Her friend was trying to hold her back. Oh. Like she gonna do something, man. Yeah, fuck a Muslim. We got no respect for a goddamn Muslim. Muslims gonna get put to death. They gonna get put in slavery. And, but actually, a lot of our people are Muslims, though. A lot of niggas. Uh, yep. Not only that, a lot of black people, are, like Farrakhan and them. A lot of those are Israelites. They, they think they are Saudi Arabian. They think they are Iraqi, but they actually Israelites. Yeah, sure. Go back to they that act Israelite form. Israelite form. Like, like one of them uh, heathens. I don't think them heathens that walk by were Israelites, but they could have been. Officer, did y'all catch whoever? Yeah. So yeah. So so. Yeah, shoot him. Yeah. <laughs> shoot the ungodly. So Islam's going down. Did you do the Lord's work? <laughs> oh, he, he 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 does do the actually the way he does he does the Lord's the work. You know what I mean? You know, that's the that's the Most High sword. That's his sword, yeah. That's his sword here. You know? okay, they go. It's a flawless institution. The Most High work. You know what I mean? You see how they is doing in protests out there in Orange County? They is fucking them protesters up, sending dogs on them. Tap, they shoot little kids with BB <laughs> with, uh, with a beanbag gun. You know? That's beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> Psalms 46. And, uh, and eight. Come, behold the works of the Lord. What the uh, what's that right here? Desolation he has made in the earth. Bring it again, that sounds good. Psalms 46 and eight. Come, behold the works of the Lord. What desolation he has made in the earth. <laughs> they said, come see the works of the Lord. What's the words? What's the Lord's works going to be? It's going to be desolations. It's like everybody come and see this destruction. It's going to be a mate. Oh, that said the same thing. That says the same thing as the book of Revelation, the 18th chapter. When they said uh, the other nations going to look at America when it's being destroyed and they're going to hiss and, yeah. They're going to cry and they're going to weep. They're just making all that money. You know? They're just doing 
doing all kinds of shit. They're living like kings and princes here. Oh, you got He makes wars to cease into the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and cuts the disappearance and sunder. Yeah, soon there ain't going to be no more war, though. That's a new term, over whatever it is. We can fight, because, yo, World War III is about to happen. It's going to be beautiful. Because soon there's going to be a nuclear war. It's going to be a nuclear war. It's going to be awesome. And then, after America's destroyed, then we're going to take over the Earth. Ain't going to be no more war. Ain't going to be no more missiles. You know what I'm saying? Ain't going to be none of that shit, man. Burn is the chariot. Oh, yeah, only thing that's going to be is the Lord and his law. That's what, that's what it's going to be. And, you know, that's what the Lord, that's just going to be. The Lord's name means uh, he to be. Yahweh means he to be. That's just going to be the Lord. Keep going. Burn is the chariot in the fire. But still and know that I am God. I will execute among the heathen. I will be executed. I will be exalted in the earth. Oh, that's why I say, yeah, he's gonna be exalted in the earth. After this last world war, ain't gonna be no more wars. Everybody gonna be praising the most high. Yeah. Like in Isaiah the second chapter tells you all tell you all all nations are gonna uh, come unto us and uh, ask us to teach them the law. You know what I mean? Hey, let's get that, man. Or, you got, or unless you got something else. Oh, we're get it. oh go ahead. Let's get that. This proves a lot of fake Jews over there in Israel ain't the real Jews, too. Because they're not even teaching no one the law. Because if you're an Israelite, you're supposed to be teaching the law. Them so-called Jews that live in Israel, they keep everything to themselves. They ain't teaching nobody shit. You know what I mean? You want me to just start at the top? Yeah. Okay, this is Isaiah, the second chapter. The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall come to pass in the last days. In the last days. Now we in the last days now. It didn't say it shall come to pass in uh, two weeks or two years or 50 years or 100 years. It said the last days. It, it was specified. Keep going. It shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall establish in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow unto it. The all nations are supposed to flow unto Israel in the last days. Now all nations are not flowing unto the fake Jews over there in the state of Israel. All all nations hate them damn devils. All nations hate them devils. Keep going. And many people shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the Most High of Jacob. And he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths.